LTA, what's up, what's up? How y'all feeling out there? Um, today I just wanted to <clears throat> talk about um, grown kids living in the house. Now me personally, I'm not really with the grown kids living in the house unless we was working towards something. I don't think grown us at all should be living together unless you're working towards something. You know, something like kind of like the Asian families, what they do a lot. They'll put, you know, a bunch of people in the house and stack the money up so they could buy a new store or some more property or whatever. You know, um, I see a lot of Mexican families that, that go that route as well. Now, that's the only way I will be with my grown kids living in the house is if we were stacking towards something or if, you know, they was stacking like okay for example um you could you could stay in the house if you're going to save your money up to go buy a house all out though like buy a house without paying mortgage like actually buy a house stack up stack you two, 250 300,000 and go buy you a house or if you're um or if you're saving up to buy a store or you know anything that's that's um beneficial you know what i mean but just to be just in the house no, I'm not with that. You know, say on the average, you know, let's say you're paying fifteen hundred for, for rent. But if you live with me, then you end up, you know, I, you know, you probably if you live with your parents, you might mess around and be paying like four hundred because you're only gonna be really helping with a bill or so. So you know, your parents might tell you, man, just give me four hundred. So let's say if if, do, if those was the numbers, fifteen hundred, and now all you paying is four hundred, I'm saving you eleven hundred, right? So if I'm saving you 1100, I'm going to need to see 500 that put up every single month. And I just put up in a bank like in an RA situation or something like that. <clears throat> Some way where you could get um full interest out that uh, out that money, you know what I mean? So let's say I was saving you 1100, I'm going to need you to put 500 up of, of that 1100 every month. You know what I'm saying? Um that's the only way I could see stuff like that or like I said or if you was saving your money because me and you was finna go in on an apartment building or you know a store or something like that but just to be but I'm not sacrificing my privacy and freedom and all that good stuff just for you to save some money you know now you sitting in the house um, let's use those same numbers I'm saving you 1100 but now with your 1100 you're just you know you're buying um, three four pair of J's a month or whatever you know what I'm saying you, 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 you at strip clubs and you just blowing the money if you're just gonna be blowing the money, nah, I can't have you here. You could go, you go live on your own and just blow your own money. Blow your own money in your own crib. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna have you live with me and you grown, and now I gotta listen to your music, and you know these kids' music nowadays is the worst. You know, I thought our shit was bad growing up. This shit nowadays is super bad. But um, but now I'm gonna have to hear your music. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have females running around? You gonna be laid up fucking all in my house and shit? Hell no, we ain't doing all that, man. <laughs> We're not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Shit got to get picked up more because there's another person there with you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. I'm not doing that. I'm not sacrificing freedom and, and, and privacy just for you to, um, to just for you to, um, you know, have your money to do whatever the hell you want to do with it. Oh, no. Nah. Like I said, we're going to have to be buying some property, a store, or, or you're going to be saving your money and showing me you saving your money. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a couple hundred thousand. Just go buy a house flat out instead of paying a mortgage. You know what I mean? If we work it towards something like that, then I'm with I'm with it. But if you're just if you're just, you know, what I'm saying just in the house just because you don't want to pay market rent. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it because you know what, daddy, you're not teaching. No, you're not teaching no responsibility. You're not teaching no responsibility. So then after they leave your house, what they going to do? Go get a roommate. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, man, you got to teach you got to teach your seeds responsibility. You know, some parents want to be friends more than parents. You feel me? So, you know, they do whatever they think is is um they be thinking they helping but they really be hurting. When you enabling, you hurting. You're not helping. You know what I mean? You're not you're not helping at all when you're enabling. You got to teach responsibility. Like I was at the bar and talking to this girl sitting next to me and she was saying how her kids ain't gotta never leave the house never and i'm like so i asked her like well 
what's the purpose of that? Are y'all saving for, you know, like y'all saving to get a business or something like, or is they saving to go get a crib or something, buy a duplex or a house or whatever, or, you know, whatever. Like, what is the, what is the point of them just being in the house when they're grown? I'm pretty sure, don't they go, why don't they want privacy? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would they want privacy? Why would they want their own freedom? You know, she like, she's like, nah, man, I had them. So she, they can live with me if, if, as long as they want to. They never got to get out. And it's like everything else, always teach his own. I just don't understand the point of that. I don't get it. I don't see where you're, how is that helping them in life? If you're just, you know, like, like I said, if you're not at least making them put up money towards something, like even if it ain't y'all getting a business together, but like I said, have them, you know what I'm saying? Save all your money. You ain't got to give me nothing on the bills, but show me that you stacked the 300,000 or so. You know what I'm saying? You can live here. You can live here free. <laughs> if you're stacking your paper, you feel what I'm saying? Like if you're stacking your money towards something and I'm going to need to see it, I'm going to need to see at least, like I said, if the number was 1100, let's just say that you're saving. I'm going to need to see 500 of that put up in like an RA or something, something that's going to get you the best interest out that money. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to be... No, nah, I'm not doing that. Y'all tell me what y'all think. LTA, we out.